Hello friends and welcome to the Architecture Enthusiast. Amid the architectural tapestry of Washington, D.C., where neoclassical facades are emblematic of history's grand narratives, 1978 witnessed a nuanced dialogue between past and present. The East Building of the National Gallery of Art, under I. M. Pei's masterful direction, emerged as an eloquent expression of modernist ethos, all the while paying subtle homage to the city's traditional fabric. The trapezoidal site, a geometrical conundrum in the eyes of many, was transformed by Pei's innovative spatial planning. Through this, two interlocking triangles manifested, a design not merely of avant-garde aesthetic but born from rigorous architectural programming. These forms stood resilient, not solely from Pei's vision but supported by the structural engineering nuances that lay embedded within their skeletal framework. Clad in the refined texture of pink Tennessee marble, the building's facade subtly mirrored the material palette of its neoclassical counterpart, the West Building. However, beneath this tactile surface, lay a labyrinth of architectural details. Each fenestration, each angular junction, was meticulously crafted, synthesizing the principles of modern design with the precision of structural integrity. Internally, the spatial dynamics took center stage. Voluminous atriums, articulated with minimalist detailing, were bathed in a calculated ingress of daylight, showcasing a mastery in environmental design. The Calder Mobile added an ephemeral kinetic element, its gentle movements dictating the tempo of the space. Flanking this central void, the galleries unveiled themselves with axial alignment and rhythmic modulation echoing the tenets of both form and function. The circulation paths, particularly the stairways, were more than mere transitional spaces. They exemplified architectural fluidity, integrating load-bearing considerations with the subtlety of spatial choreography. And beneath this orchestrated dance of form and light, intricate mechanical and environmental systems operated in harmony, safeguarding the invaluable art pieces, ensuring their preservation through controlled microclimates. In the vast architectural lexicon of Washington, the East Building eloquently added a chapter that bridged epics with a refined interplay of modernist vocabulary with the age-old language of architectural tradition, a testament to the dialogue between an architect's vision and the quiet precision of engineering.